हेलो डेवलपर्स वेलकम बैक टू द प्रोग्रामिंग फील्ड्स आई एम उमेश राणा एंड यू आर वाचिंग एपिसोड थ्री ऑफ आवर डीप डाइव इनटू द लेवल 12 प्लस रिएक्ट स्टार्टर किट सीरीज पावर्ड बाय वर्क ओएस ऑथ किट इफ यू आर न्यू हियर यू आर इन द राइट प्लेस टू बिल्ड मॉडर्न सिक्योर एंड स्किलेबल एप्लीकेशन विथ लेरेवल एंड रिएक्ट इन एपिसोड वन वी कंपेयर्ड लेरेवल्स ट्रेडिशनल ऑथेंटिकेशन सिस्टम विथ वर्क ओएस ऑथ किट एंड वी शॉ how we can implement social login authentication effortlessly using workos authkit and this was compatible with laravel 12 plus react js further in the episode 2 we implemented magic link authentication in which we can say while login we don't need any password okay so we saw two types of login just like passkey login and magic link authentication now in the today's video we are unlocking the power of enterprise login authentication using sso and this stands for single sign on so if you are building a saas product or want to onboard teams from companies using okta azure ad or any saml provider this video is just for you but before we dive into the code let's quickly understand what sso actually is sso or single sign on This allows users to log in into your application using their existing corporate credential from identity providers just like Okta, Azure Active Directory or any SAML compliant provider. This means users don't need to remember new passwords. They just use their company login and your application trust the identity based on your secure handshake. Now let's understand this using example. So let's suppose your client is a company that is using okta internally now with sso all of their team members can log in into your laravel application seamlessly using the credentials they already use for internal tools and in this flow you don't need to store their password and everything is handled securely through workos so this not only improves security but also makes onboarding enterprise clients incredibly easy so here is the quick overview of how single sign on works So if we'll check this flow the single sign on enables authentication based on identity provider via organization's id so whenever user will request for the login into the application the request will go to the work os okay because we are going to implement this in the work os now the work os will return the authentication url to the application and the application will redirect to the user to that authentication url now after redirecting to that authentication url the work os will call back the redirect url with the authorization code to the application and once the authorization code will be verified this will return that authorized user profile and again this will redirect back to the dashboard or any landing page okay so this is internal flow of work os like how this work os handles sso login now in order to integrate the sso login Firstly you will have to register on workos account so i already have the workos registered account here okay now inside this workos dashboard firstly we'll have to navigate to this organization section so inside the organization you should have at least one organization from which you want to integrate sso so i already have this organization having domain as example.com because i don't have the real organization domain this is just for testing purpose so you can fill up anything here also you can add multiple organization here by clicking on create organization you will have to provide the organization name and the domain and the domain is optional here so once you will create the organization you will have to enable the sso for that organization okay so here if i'll click on this first organization which is test organization and if i'll click on edit option here we have this features enabled as single sign on for this organization and the provider is test idp so this is test identity provider okay so whenever i'll attempt login through this organization id this will test the users while authenticating from this test idp so after creating the organization you will have to copy this organization id and you'll have to navigate to the application and in the dot env file you will have to scroll to the bottom and here we already have workos client id api key and redirect url 
which we already integrated in the first video okay so further we'll have to add the work os organization id just like this and you'll have to paste that organization id okay this is done now after adding the organization id in the application again we'll have to navigate to the work os dashboard and firstly we'll have to enable the sso configuration inside the configuration we have the authentication tab let's click on this and in the authentication we have this single sign on okay currently this is disabled so we'll have to enable it first when we will enable this this will take identity provider just like intra id okta and google workspace i will enable this and i'll click on save changes yes so the single sign on authentication is enabled in the application configuration and as of now i will just disable the pass cage and magic authentication which we have implemented in the last video okay so these two authentication system have been disabled now only we have enabled this single sign on now after enabling this sso we'll have to navigate to the organization again and inside the organization if we'll click on this we have the test organization domain here which is example.com okay we have the users section here so inside the users tab currently we don't have any user linked with this test organization so firstly we'll have to create a few users for which we want to check sso login so we can add users from here but that user should exist in this work os here currently we don't have any user added in the work os so firstly we'll have to create a few users inside the users section here okay if we'll click on this we have the create user option so we can create the user by adding their name and email or in the second option we can invite by sending the email all right so as of now i'm going to create a user for the test organization because we don't have the organization domain okay so i'll just click on users and here i'll just click on create user i will provide the email address but here we'll have to make sure that the user what we are going to create here that email address domain must match with the organization domain for example in the organization domain we have the domain as example.com okay so the user email must belong to this organization domain only so i'll copy this example.com domain i will navigate to the users again i will click on create user and here i will just provide the email address just like umesh and at the rate and i will just paste that domain just like example.com this could be anything based on your organization domain okay i will click on create user yes the user has been created inside this user listing we can say we have the organizations as none because this user is not linked with this organization and the status is inactive now so what we will have to do we will have to link this user in this organization so what we will have to do we will have to navigate to the organization and inside this test organization we will have to link that user so i'll just click on add user now and we have that user list i will select this email address i'll click on add user now this user is linked with this organization now again if we'll come back to the users yeah that user organization has been reflected this is done now let's navigate to the laravel application so this is our test application here we have the login option if we'll click on this okay this has redirected on this redix authentication page we'll have to provide that email address which we have registered as a user and we have added in the organization i will add that email address umesh at the rate example.com i will click on continue and this is authenticating and this has redirected on the test identity provider now before proceeding this let's quickly jump to the work os dashboard again and here inside the organizations here we have the test provider added for this test organization okay again if we'll click on this here we can see 
the single sign on is enabled using this test idp so this idp is basically identity provider okay and if you we'll click on this view connection yeah we have this connection id and this status is active so when we added that email address for the authentication that email address has matched with the current organization okay and based on this organization domain this has redirected on this test identity provider for authenticating that user now let's suppose if we have entered another email address which does not exist with the current organization so i'm going back and here i will just add something dot test dot com okay and this test dot com does not match with the our organization okay now if we we'll click on continue we can see it has not redirected to the test idp for authenticating that user for this only this has enabled the social authentication just like continue with google microsoft github and apple accounts now again if we we'll go back and if we'll enter the organization email which is example.com and if we'll click on continue again this has redirected on the test identity provider which is belonging to the current organization that is test organization and the domain is example.com now let's navigate to the application and here we can add first name and last name okay so i will add my name here we can add the group like in the organization on which group this user belongs to and here we have this second tab as return and error so this test identity provider will return the error whenever the authentication fails okay let's switch back to this return and sso profile and here i won't enter any group i will simply click on continue and here this is authenticating and yes we have logged in successfully we are redirected on the application dashboard in the profile option we have the settings and here we have the name whatever we have added in the test idp and we have that email address again if we'll just log out this application and if we'll jump to the work os dashboard inside the users yes we have the status as active and we have the sign in count 1 and this is last sign in date and time so this will keep track of number of sign in to the application also if we we'll navigate to the organizations here we have the one organization and inside this organization if we we'll click on users yeah again we have the same track of sign in count and this authentication has been done using test provider all right if we we'll click on this three dots we have the user detail inside this we have the organization domain this is user id and this is linked with the organization test organization inside the sessions we can check the current session and here inside the detail if we we'll click on this we have the current session which is my current system okay also we have the events so this will just return the actions we have this user created updated and finally we have this authentication done using sso so this has returned all the events here now again let's navigate to the our application again we'll try to click on login now this time i'm going to enter another email address which is test.com again or this can be something.com i will click on continue now we don't have the option enabled for this entered email address because this does not match with the current organization which we have configured the organization id in our application okay now let's navigate to the application back i will click on go back and i will enter the same address as example.com i'll click on continue and this is authenticating using this test identity provider i will click on continue again and this is authenticating and yes we have successfully authenticated and redirected back on the dashboard now inside the work os dashboard if i will register one more user i will add test 
user at the rate test dot com. Okay. So currently I am registering one more user which has different domain that does not belong to that current organization. I will click on create user. Yeah, this has added. Now I will navigate to the organizations. Inside the organization, users. Now I will try to add the user. I will just select that user test dot com and I will click on add user. So now I have added one more user which does not belong to the organization email domain. Okay. Now what I will do? I will just try to log in using this test user test dot com email. I will navigate to the application. I will just log out this session. I will click on login. And this time I will just enter that email address, which is test user at the rate test dot com. Test user at the rate test dot com. I will click on continue. Now we can see this has not enabled the test IDP for this user because this does not match with the organization domain, which is example dot com. However, we have added that particular user in the same organization. But still, this is not able to validate this user belonging to this current organization because this is matching with the domain only. Now, if we we'll modify this user, here we have the user email address not verified. Okay. Now I will click on Edit User Details, and here I will simply change this test dot com domain to example dot com. I will click on Save Changes. Okay, now I will navigate to the organizations. Inside this, we have the users. Again, navigate to this. Okay, so this organization is already added here. Now I will navigate to the application. I will go back. I will refresh, and I will click on login. I will enter that email address as test user at the rate example dot com. And I will click on continue. Yes, this has opened the test IDP just for authenticating that user email address. Now I will click on continue. We have to enter the first name and last name. I will click on continue. And this is authenticating. And yes, the user has logged in successfully and redirected to the dashboard page. Again, we have the profile settings inside this. We have the name and email address, all right. And that's how simple it is to add enterprise grade SSO to your Laravel 12 Plus React app using WorkOS. If this video helped you, please consider supporting the channel. Like the video if you learned something new. Drop your questions or feedback in the comments, and subscribe for more real world Laravel 12 Plus React tutorial. Also, don't forget to share it with your fellow developers. Your support truly motivates me to keep producing more content just like this. And don't forget, in the next video, we are going to take this one step further and explore role-based access and multi-tenant handling after WorkOS login. So thanks again for watching. I will see you in the next video. Until then, happy coding.